Good afternoon everyone, this is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you with a puzzle called Reflections by Wuxiu. Um, this puzzle um, was submitted and I'm going to give it a try. Oh, what is it with me at the moment? Um, it's basically that simple. Um, yeah, puzzle comes in, like the look of it, testers like it, I do it. That's how it works. So if you've got a puzzle that you like, whether you created it or you um, solved it yourself and you thought it was good and be, should be something I should look at, check out the submission guidelines below. Um, yeah, really, really cool. If you're not the person who created it, um, make sure it's someone who I've try and make try and make sure it's someone I've either got permission to do or if it's someone that I probably you haven't seen me cover before, um, possibly reach out to them and ask if they would mind if I cover it. Um, because um, sometimes if I reach out, it can take months to get an answer, but sometimes I do. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, um, let's have a look at this. Reflections by Wushu. Normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. We also have to place the digits one to nine without repetition on the marked diagonal. That's um, And then we have killer cages, which is digits placed in cages um, uh, cannot repeat. So for example, in this seven cage, we couldn't do three, three, and one. While that does sum to seven, it would break the rules of killer. These two threes in the, in the same cage do not work. Okay by Sudoku, not okay by killer. Um, uh, cannot repeat and must sum to the uh, digit in the top left corner. They're the rules of the puzzle. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Um, I didn't check the the difficulty of this one, but um, I had a couple of testers say, do this. So I'm doing this. Um, let's give this a shot. So the minimum digits you can put into three cells in a cage are one, two, and three. One, two, and three sum to six. So these are one, two, and three. And this is going to be a four because the minimum digits I could put into a cage are one, two, and three. Now, in order to get from six to seven, I have to increase one of these digits by one, but I can't increase the one or the two. So if I put in one, two, three, I know this is wrong, but if I was to increase the one or the two by one, I would break the puzzle because I'd be duplicating digits. So I have to increase the three to a four, but I can't use a one or a two in this, um, repeat a one or a two in this box. So that's the four. Ooh. I've got that turned on from when I was testing something. Uh, these are not four. Do not want that. Do not want, do not want. Okay, so I've already got the four on the diagonal. Hmm, where else do I want to look? So there must be a one in this eight cage because an eight cage can only be made of two ways. If I don't use a one, the minimum digits are two, three, and four, and two, three, four sums to nine. So there must be a one. And this is either... This is a two unless this, I may be looking in the wrong place, but there must be a one in this cage. If the one is here, the one is in one of those two. If the one is in either of those, that's a one. Because both of those cells see that one. But there is a one in this cage and it's either one, two, five or one, three, four. So there's, hmm, I'm not sure. These are very high digits, but they, I do need to have a nine in a 22 cage. So if I don't put a nine in a 22 cage, the maximum digits are six, seven, and eight, and six, seven, and eight only sum to 21. So I'm going to mark a nine there, and I'm going to mark a one there. But this 10 cage can't be one, two, seven but I don't know that that's helping me. Oh, this can't be a one. This cannot be a one. Because if this was a one, this would be a two. And the minimum I could put into, I couldn't use a one or a two in this six cage. And if I can't use a one or a two in the six cage, what's it going to be? The minimum would be three, four, which is not six, it's seven. So this is not a one. There's a one in one of those two. And now this is either one, five or two, four, but this can't be a one or a two. Minimum is three. If this is hmm, something, right, this can't be a one. No, it could be a one. This could be a one if this is two, four. Wait, there's something going on here. I'm, look, I'm sure I'm coming at this the wrong way. If this is a one, that would put a one in here, and this would have to be two, four. 
And then I couldn't use a two in these, but I could put a two here, which would make that a, yeah, because the two four would make that a one, and I could put a two there. I'm missing something very, very important here. This is about ones and twos. You must have a one and a two in a... Right, so the, I can't put ones and twos in these cells. I can't put ones and twos in those cells because there's a, one of them is in there and one of them is in there. I can't put ones and twos... No, I can put ones and twos. If this is two, four, I couldn't put twos down here, but I could still put ones in here. There must be a one or a two in a 10 cage. That feels true. Because if I don't, it's two. If I don't put a one or a two in it, it's three, four, five. And three, four, five is way over. It's 12. So there's a one or a two in here. So there's no one or twos in here. It's the same down here because three, four, five is 12. So there's no one or two in those. And there's no one or two in those. Right. So both one and two are in here. Now that's interesting. Maybe. So I've got, I can't put both one and two in a 19 cage. Because if I put both one and two in a 19 cage, the other digit is 16. So this is a one or a two. Which means... I now have a one, two in here and a one, two in here. None of those are one, two. This is, is about one, twos. And now one of these is a one or a two. And I can't put a one in a 19 cage because if I put a one in a 19 cage, then the other two digits would have to sum to 18. And I can't do that with two digits below nine that don't repeat. I, what do I use? nine and nine that doesn't work so there is a two in this 19 cage this is the one there is a two in the 19 cage and the two has to go with two digits of sum to 17 these are two eight and nine ha ha the one takes one five out of here this is two four this is the one this is the two that says that's not the one this is the one which takes one out of here and one out of here by the diagonal this is the one This can't be a two because of the two, four. Two is down here. There is a two in this 10 cage with two digits that sum to eight. Now I can't use one, seven or two, six. So it has to be three, five. This is two, three, five because I can't use two, four, four. This is two, three, five, which means four is down here. There must be a one in an 11 cage now. So there's a one down here with two digits that sum to 10, but it still could be three, seven or four, six, I think. I haven't yet grokked the true nature of this puzzle. There must be a two down here. Now, if this is one, two, that would, hang on. Now, remember this, I can't put a four in either of those cells because of the fours looking down. So this can't be one, three, four. This is one, two, five, and I can't put a five there. This is the five, this is the two. There's no two here. Now I can't put one or two in any of those cells. I'm going to continue with this because it's been helpful so far. I still don't have the two on the diagonal. These can't be one or two. I can't put one or two in a 22 cage at all. Can't put one or two in any of those. So this 10 cage is three, seven or four, six. So it's either three, seven or four, six. I'm not sure which way that would go. So one is in one of those two. Now, 
this can't be one, two, three, four, five. This is six or seven only, because it also can't be eight or nine. Because it sees one, it sees two, three, four, five. It could be six, seven, but it can't be eight or nine. This is six or seven only. That's interesting. Now remember, four is down here. So four is in one of those two now. Because I can't put four in here and four is not in here. This digit is also down here. But it's not there because I can't put eight or nine in a 10 cage. The maximum digit you can put in a 10 cage is a seven. But that can't be a seven because then these would have to be one, two. So the minimum here is three, four. So the maximum here is, whoa, 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 whoa. Minimum here is three, four. Minimum here with this being a one, two is three, four. So the maximum here is three and I can't use one or two. So this is a one. So now these aren't one or two. This coloring may be useless, but I'm going to persist with it. And these have to sum to nine. Well, they're not one, eight or two, seven. So they're three, six or four, five. I don't know. Two can't go in any, two could go there. Two could still go in either of these, I think. Maybe. One is down here. Two is in one of these. Two here would mean these have to sum to 15. It's going to be this 22 cage that does something weird. Can't put one or a two in that cell. It sees both of them. Can't put a one or a two in that cell. It sees the one in the column and the two, three horizontally. So the two in this row is in one of those two cells. I'm, I feel I'm attacking this wrong. Attacking is terrible verbiage for this, but I feel I'm approaching this puzzle the wrong way. but I'm finding stuff. So how much do I care? These cells, they can't be one, two, three, four, or five. So these are all from six, seven, eight, nine. So the three is in one of those. Uh, It's, it's good. I think it's the 22 and the 17 cage, and I can't see how to use it. The 22 cage, it's got a 9, so there's then th two digits that sum to 13. I can't use 9, 4, so it's 8, 5, or 7, 6. So they're all from 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I still feel I'm playing with ones and twos, but I'm not seeing how. The diagonal's got to come into play. No, it's simpler than that. Five is, this is a three, five pair. Where do I put three and five in this box? It's, it's way simpler than that. Three and five has to go into this box somewhere. Well, they're not in here because of the two, three, five, and they're not in those because that's one, two, eight, nine. This is a three, five pair. Now we revisit this 11 cage. I have to do two digits that sum to 10. I can't use one, nine. I can't use two, eight. I can't use three, seven. This is one, four, six. If th that's not the one. If this is one, four, six, that is a seven. And these are now known. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that takes six and seven out of those. These are an eight, nine. Nice. These are now known. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are an eight, nine, which means that that's not the nine. It's not enough for that though, is it? No, this can't be a four, six anymore. If this is a four, six, it breaks that cell. So this is not four, six, and I can put in the three and the seven. Mwah. Okay. I just had this moment where it's like, 
I've solved this before. Now, I'm assuming this is a new puzzle. What I'm assuming I've had is I've hit logic like this where a, a two-digit cage up the top is interacted with something below it. I've almost certainly used logic where you know a two-digit cage like this has been had options eliminated because of a cell below. I have done thousands of puzzles. That's happened before. That doesn't mean that this isn't an original creation by Wushu, but I just had puzzle deja vu. Um, I don't know why. It just happens. So this can't be a four, because if this is a four, these would have to sum to 18. So this is... 5, 6, it can't be 7, 8, 9. So this is 5 or 6. 4 can't be here. 4 can't be here. 4 is not in any of those. That's the 4. That's the 1. This is a 5 or a 6. Is any of this doing extra eliminations on the diagonal? Not yet. Not yet. 1 is now in one of those two. That can't be a 1. Do I want to get rid of this grey? I've actually found it quite useful. I would never have found this stuff without it, I don't think. So I'm being a bit precious about it. My precious. Okay. Now this... Oh, no, I, I can't use this because this sums to 10, but these only sum to 9. But these sum to either 17 or 16. Because if this is a 5, 22, no, that's not, yeah, 17, and if this is a 6, they sum to 16. So if they're 17, they're 8, 9. So they're 7, 8, 9, and must contain, so 8, 9, and 5 is 20, sorry, 8, 9, and 5 is 22. But if it's not, if this is a 6, I need to reduce the 8, 9 by 1. I can't use 8, 8, so it'd be 7, 9. Is that correct? It has to be. Why do I worry about my math there? 8, 9 is 17 plus 5 is 22. Yes, that is correct. These are 3, 6, and 7. I'm not seeing how to use that. I'll put it in, but I'm not seeing how to use it. 4 is in one of those two, but I've known that for a while. But since I got that one, that's actually possibly worth pencil marking. Nine is in there somewhere. That's not it. Okay. Five on the diagonal is in this box. And that's powerful. That, that gives me this. Oh, this is cool. Because I can't put five in any of these cells. They're all occupied. And this five is looking up saying five's not there. But I have to put five on the diagonal. So five on the diagonal is in box nine. So what can these be now? They have to sum to nine. I can't use one eight. There's already a one in the cage. I can't use two seven. I could use three six, but I can't use four five now or else there'd be no five on the diagonal. This is three six. Which makes that a four and takes four out of there. But more importantly, where do I put three and six on the diagonal now? I can't put them down here because three six in the box is taken. I can't put them in any of those. Three six is not an option. That is three and six. Three and six. So that's the two, which means that's the four and that's the two. Fine. I'm going to get rid of this colouring. I'm beyond it now. That's beautiful. So these are two, five, eight, and nine. And there's no nine there. And there's no two there. So this is five or eight. That, I think, is my favorite part of the puzzle so far. Not that I'm, you know, trying to play favorites here. Though I absolutely am playing favorites here. Okay, where am I looking now? At the grid. I'm looking at the grid. Stupid jokes because I don't have anything I found. This is feels like it's coming. This 17 cage has to do something, but I don't know what. So... <clears throat> Do 
This is, oh, hang on. I can make this a six and this a four because of that four. Six is, uh, which makes this a five and this a six. Now, if this is a five, these have to sum to 17. So they're eight, nine, which looks like I'm making that the five and there's no five here. So these are two, eight and nine. But I don't know which one. But I can't use eight or nine in there at all. So the maximum they can be, well, there's no five here, but the maximum these can be, wait a minute, I can't use six either. So the maximum these can be is seven and four. If I don't put a seven in here, what happens if I don't put a seven in those two cells? These two cells right here. If I don't put a seven in here, they can't be nine, eight. I'm manually saying, what if I don't put a seven? I couldn't use six or five. So these would be four and three, and these would need to be a 10. There is a seven in there. So now I need two digits for the rest of the cage that sum to 10. Nine, one could work. I'd have to put the nine here, and this would be one, seven. Two, eight. This would be the eight. This would be, so I could do nine with one, seven. I could do eight with two, seven. I can't use three, seven. There's already a seven in the cage. And I can't do four, six because the four, six here means that this can't be either four or six. And I can't put the seven here because the seven must be in those two two cells because what I was working on is what happens if I don't put a seven here because these are the ones that say five, six, eight, nine. The seven must be in those two. This has to be an eight or a nine and there must be a one or a two in here. This is an eight, nine. There's a two here. There's no two here. This is an eight, nine. There's no two here. This is an eight, nine pair. One, two, three, and seven go into those. The three, seven, six here makes that the seven and that the three. I'm sure this, this is right. It just feels weird. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are an eight, nine pair. This feels so weird. So this is an eight, nine pair. These are two and five. This feels so strange. This has got, to, this had to be right. There's an eight, nine pair here. Can I color these eight nines? So for example, that, I'm gonna get rid of those. If this is eight, nine version yellow, this is eight, nine version blue because they have to be digit different digits. So I don't know whether yellow is eight or nine, but this one is definitely the other one. So this one becomes whichever one yellow is. This one is whichever one blue is. This one is whichever one yellow is. No, I don't seem to be able to, ah, oh, this one is whichever one blue is. So this one is whichever one yellow is. So this one is whichever one blue is. This one is whichever one yellow is. So yellow is up here and yellow is up here. So that's yellow. I can't put yellow in any of those. So the yellow eight, nine has to exist in this row somewhere. And I can't put another eight, nine in any of those two cells because that's an eight, nine pair. This is yellow. This is blue. This is yellow. This is blue. Now blue in this box can't go in either of those or there because they're all seen by blue. This is a blue eight, nine. Yellow has to go here for the same reason. This is a yellow eight, nine. That's amazing. Maybe there was another way of doing it. Don't care, that was fun. This is five, seven. One, two, there's a three in one of those two, and now there's an X wing on threes. Where can I put three in this column? Can't put three in any of those. 
that's that's probably how I was supposed to solve this, because I could see already there couldn't be three here and there couldn't be three here. Can't put three in either of those two because this is a two, three, five. This had to be the three. That's probably what I should have done at the start or earlier. Although that didn't seem to get me much. I don't have blue in this box is down here, but it can't be here. So this is the blue eight, nine, which means it's not the four, that's the four. And yellow is here. This is the yellow eight, nine. Okay, so I've got that locked in. But now I know one, two, three, four, five, these are six and seven. And the seven is looking up, making that the six and that the seven. I may be doing this hard mode, but you know what? So in this, I don't, I'm having a ball. If you, if you're having fun, does it matter if you're spending longer having fun? It's only been 24 minutes anyway. So this is one, two, seven for the column, but there's a two and a seven in the row. That's the one. That looks down taking one out of here. This is a two, seven, which is nine. What nine plus yellow becomes eight. Blue becomes nine. And because it is annoying when it's not serving a purpose, get rid of your coloring. These are one and four. The one makes that the four and that the one, which makes that the six and that the one. This is so cool. Um, this is, oh, the five makes that the seven and that the five. Probably could have used that ages ago as well. Doesn't matter. I'm having fun. The six makes that the three and that the six, which makes that the five and that the three. Uh, let's look at these pairs. Five and six, not sure. These are two and four. Those I think I can resolve with two and four. These are three and seven, which I can also resolve. So three, seven, six, three, six looks up making five and six, and the five looks down making two and five. Okay, so now I need to do these. Uh, one, two, three, four, and six. So let's resolve those. Four and six. Um, need to put three in here. This triple, I'm just going to fill in. So it's five, seven, nine. There's no nine. Actually, there's no seven in either of those. So I put the seven in. Then I use that nine to make that the five, that the nine, the five over to make that the two, and that the five. The two looks over to make that the seven and that the two. And that is the correct solution. I adored this puzzle. That was great. Now, I had to figure out what was going on with ones and twos, and then I had to do some coloring on eights and nines. Possibly not needed. Maybe if I'd like investigated stuff a different way, but there's multiple ways of solving the puzzle. And I had fun. If having fun isn't your goal, what, what, what's the point? <laughs> um, I had a ball. That was great. Thank you, Ushul. That was stunning. I could see all sorts of things I could use now. The 325 and the 416 all pointing into this box, causing some issues and all sorts of stuff that I may have been able to investigate. Doesn't matter. What I found worked. Um, I'm sure Wushu will pipe up if this was completely not the intended way of solving it or other people will say, but you could have used this. That's what comments seem to be for. Um, but, you know, great fun. Absolute blast. Thank you, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And as always, good luck with your solving.